Hello everybody and welcome to Super Metroid. In the last episode, we got pretty darn far. In this episode, we're going to be going and getting power bombs because we seem to need that a lot. these guys up. Go back. Also, I forgot to mention, but if you charge up your beam and then turn into a ball, you will release a bunch of bombs. I don't know when particularly that can be useful, but... And the enemies that jump up on walls are really annoying. Okay, finally. Thankfully, it's not that far away from where we were, but... Excuse me, jump. This place is annoying as crap. I hate the fact that if you jump too high or too low, you're screwed on either end, but that added difficulty is what made games of that time. This is the part that, um, houses power bombs. Power bombs! And of course, an ability like this, they would want you to use it right away. To reveal missiles. Power bombs are your surefire way of finding something that is hidden. Generally speaking. 
You aren't the one I was looking for. I'm gonna freeze you two. Kind of awkward position, but okay. These enemies are also to refuel your power bombs in case you lose them, so you don't get stuck in here. Thankfully, I have a reserve tank, but that's still not assuring. Okay. Gonna be at a safe distance from this power bomb. Hold on here and get more. When you have power bombs, everything is in your reach. This guy is pretty much the limit. And not even then. It's not really the limit. Thankfully, we're done with the plant monsters. You go up here, and hidey hidey ho, it's this quick way to this area. Which is where we needed to go. However, we're going to be recovering our health before we do anything. And also saving. If we don't do that, we're gonna die. I don't want all that progress lost. This right here... You're going to want to switch to bombs. And use it there. Revealing a path. That can be destroyed by power bombs. You're also going to want to freeze monsters up there if you can. And any that you come across. Because we're going to be burning alive in acid. And that's not going to be good. Last thing we need is them keeping us here. Energy tank. Five smackaroonies. Must go. This place is dangerous, man. So this area might be a little familiar to you. Choose where to jump carefully. I think we want left.
Nope, nope. Nope. I said no. Crap. It basically means you have to do that entire thing over again if you want to get the other thing. Which of course we want. Which it is kind of a good idea to go back and do that so long as it's in your mind and it's fresh. Because that is a pretty... It's a really tough secret that is, um... Easy to forget. You're supposed to get that stuff way later, but if you can just jump up there and use your power bombs, you're pretty much good. After we get these, we can go into the um, ghost ship, which is the next portion of the game. I'm going to be playing, and then we're going to go do what's actually required after we collect a lot of the stuff now that we got power bombs. Now, usually the ghost um, ship is supposed to be impossible for us right now because we're lacking a very crucial item. But thankfully, with the addedness of uh, power bombs plus speed, I think we should be fine. If you can uh, wall jump perfectly, you can get into Phantom's Lair without having to worry about um, the grappling hook, which is that item we don't have. I'm not gonna even worry about that. Okay. Rightmost platform. Shoot, 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 shoot. Got it. That's weird, I didn't know there were enemies in there. Okay, off to Fantoon's Lair we go! Which is gonna be rough given the equipment we have, but I think we can beat him just fine. I, I've actually beaten him with less, so... Should be good. As long as I don't die getting to my ship. Okay. Let's run super fast. Now, there's a bit of a problem with this area, and we're gonna find out why, because we've never come across this element before. And that is water. You can't really move in water, and it's a pretty big drag. You can't really even wall jump because it just drags you down. Normally, you're supposed to have the grappling hook and you're able to get past here 
It's difficult even doing that normally. However... By the power of shine sparking... You want to make sure that you do it in this room somehow, so that you don't have to worry about getting mauled when you're trying to do this. It's already hard enough. If you jump at a perfect angle, you can keep your shine spark. Crap, I didn't jump at a perfect angle that time either. Okay, one, two... to shoot. Okay, I almost did that. In my opinion, this is the perfect test for trying to figure out how to shine spark in the first place. Come on. Right before I hit that thing. Down. Go! And there we go. That's how you shine spark a door. And this is where it gets tricky. You won't necessarily be soft locked per se, but you kind of are in it pickle if you get through here without you have to jump a sped up at a perfect angle to be able to wall jump off of that platform there this takes a lot of precision and a lot of attempts I might be here a while but I'm gonna do it. Push past your limits, Sama. Samus. There we go. Now this one's a little bit harder because there's a thing in the way. I want the gravity suit before Crackmire. Whew. There we go. We did it. We did it, guys. We're in the ghost ship.
However, you will notice that everything's off, including the save point. You're kind of screwed if you got here and die before you get the power on, but... And hence the name, there are actual ghosts here. Since the power's off, most of the doors don't work. Not all the doors. The ghosts are pretty annoying, but you can take care of them. It's just they come back, so... As you can see, you can just take them out. We're already almost down an energy tank, which is not ideal. This is presumably what happened to the ship that was here before us, of people. As you've seen when we fought, um, Kray the last time, the toenail boss as I call him, that there were people here, but they got killed. Welcome to Fantoon. You can only shoot him or come in contact with him when his eyes open. He shoots a lot of these phantom things, but you want to make sure that you have... Expert timing. Get that super missile. Wide beam is great for this. That's your last one, isn't it? Open your... I'm already not doing so great against this boss. He also occasionally makes himself go invisible. Fantoon, I will destroy you. I will! Man, I might die. Unless I get really lucky here. I'm just dead. Thankfully, I have a reserve tank, I just realized that. Give me energy! Oh, thanks. Crap. Mega crap. We did it! 
Pantoon, one try! Holy friggin' super crap. Well, now let's save it. As you can see, Fantoon was the thing keeping the energy or the electricity off. Now that the electricity is back on, everything's working again. That includes the save room. And also this room. I don't know what I just wanted to do. Okay. There's a lot of hidden things in the ghost ship. Probably more so than any other area of the game. I mainly want to get the item of choice here first. Um, check our map. Yeah, I want to use the map machine real quick. map. Okay, so there's an item in that other room that we skipped. Also, these robots will shoot at you too, so just be mindful. Everything's really out to kill you. I honestly think, uh, the ghost ship before Fantoon isn't really that bad, but the ghost ship after Fantoon is really hard to go into. Did just use a regular bomb there, but okay. Got a super missile. Generally speaking, this area is really good for another item that we don't have. I'm just gonna take these guys out before they even come close to me. But unlike us, these uh, people who are residents of the ghost ship are not so lucky. I'm gonna switch to missiles. Oh, they even don't die with missiles. Mm, 
there's something there, but we can't get it. Have to go from below to get it. I was hoping it didn't spit me out here. Well, this could take a while. Hopefully not. I thought that was going to take me to one of those doors that is needed to get to the suit we need. I guess not. With the gravity suit, we can move freely around in water without any issues at all, which is... awesome. Alternatively, I could guess I could probably just go back to my ship, fuel up my health, and go back, because I'm probably gonna die if I go back in there, and I'm gonna lose a lot of progress. Okay. Well, we should switch to super missiles, because those enemies are gonna be there. I come prepared. Okie dokie. But with that, we beat Fantoon, we got closer to getting the gravity suit. In the next episode, we're gonna go claim it. See you guys then.